Hello, Algorand community. My name is Vladimir Zhuravlev in the frames of the hackathon, ATH hackathon and uh, Algorand competition, I have prepared a Web 3.0 solution. It's Algo Tickets, the first, not the first, but the best decentralized event tickets marketplace. So at first, I would like to describe which problem would I like to, uh, which problem would I like to, how to say, solve using my case. So, there are now a lot of centralized marketplaces like Ticketland.com, etc. There are too many marketplaces, but they all have some problems. First of all, users have no confidence while using such marketplaces. When I, as a user, buy a ticket, I'm not sure that I really have an accept to this event. For example, I got email with confirmation, but it's just a paper. I'm not sure if I go to the gate, uh, security can say, hey, no, you don't have access. And that's a problem of centralization. The another problem is when I have bought a ticket and got an email confirmation, it's really difficult to resell this ticket. I can go to anyone and say, hey, you want to buy my ticket? He say, mm, okay, but why should I be sure that you sell it only to me? Because I can sell some copies. It's a problem. It's another problem of centralization. So, there are these are uh, two problems of centralized platforms uh, and I would like to describe some more problems. For example, classic platforms like Ticketland.com have huge commissions. If I would like to buy a ticket, I, um, I choose an event, choose a ticket type and then at the final stage I see it costs not 20 euro, it costs 20 euro plus 3 euro commission and it's not a, it's not a good deal. I don't like such way. And we can solve it using my product. I will show how. The last point is that there are now, of course, some decentralized marketplace platforms, but I don't like all of them. Because if you have a decentralized platform, it means that you have to pay in crypto. For example, in uh, ATH or Bitcoin. And it's uh, not, a good, not a good way for uh, mass adoption. There cannot be mass adoption if you have to pay in crypto and there is no way to pay in fiat. So, the, these are the problems and now solution. I've developed an uh, ecosystem and the main thing is DApp based on algorithm. So, how it goes? User wants to buy tickets for some of the events. He wants to pay in fiat. He wants to pay dollars like on this credit card or something like this. And he wants to be confidential. He wants to see that his ticket is stored somewhere uh, where it can be deleted, for example, in blockchain. So, four parts of this ecosystem. And how it works in my system? Uh, user pays fiat in the web interface. It's like classic layer in all of the web shops. After that, backend built on Python sends a request and uh, makes a trans transaction from event account to the app account. I will describe it more mm, while prototype showing, demonstrating. Uh, and the final thing I would like to announce in this presentation is that it's a real business case. We can earn money while launching this project. So if I have this D app platform, uh, I can make events accounts pay commission for me. So they send not just transactions, they send payment transaction and untouch some algorithm tokens and give it to me. So now it's time to show you a prototype. Are you ready? ready. It's, uh, ready. Just, name, it's just, it's uh, just, it's a local host prototype, not uh, web hosted, but it's ready. So it's a start page. The user sees that you, he can buy tickets for such events. And here is description why our platform is good. We have decentralization, blah, 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 blah. So if I want to buy a ticket as a, as a user, for example, uh, on DJ Marty Live, I choose this page and here I have a standard form. How a ticket land? I have to put my name, my email, uh, choose a type of ticket, economy or VIP, for example, uh, and insert card payment. I haven't inserted card payment yet because it's like, uh, I need a lawyer for it. <laughs> But, uh, so it's just an image, but uh, the, the idea is that user has to pay in fiat. So I insert my name and email, choose a ticket type and click 
Bye. And that is it. I have bought a ticket on the decentralized platform. How can I check that it's decentralized? Algorand has a wonderful system, Algorand Explorer. And we can have a link for it. So, for example, we can go to this link. It's uh, announced on this page. This link, I go to it and see that here is transaction. Uh, blah, 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 many difficult strings, but the main part is in the bottom. Here is a field, not, not field. Uh, I hope Algorand will make it uh, look a, a bit easier. So, but already now we can see that here is our data. We see that Vlad had bought a ticket of type economy on this email. And it cannot be deleted. It's hosted in blockchain. And Vlad has uh, proof that he have bought a ticket. And he also can resale it, etc, etc, etc. So that's how it work a user. So that's how a user can buy ticket. We also can add some events as a events management team. If I can have an event, I just put a title of it. For example, uh, just party. Oops. Party put enter, and it's it. Event is uh, created. The only thing that I have to do against it is to uh, top up the balance the idea is that when this project is launched on mainnet i have to buy algo uh, algo coins and put it to this account now it's launched on testnet so we can just go to the dispenser uh, and send some money to this account that's how it's work yes and now this application this event is active we can see it on the start page. But the a new event is added. And the users can buy tickets on it, as I have already shown. So that's it. I would like to finish my presentation, uh, finalize all of that I have explained. What we have done. Now, users can buy tickets via fiat on the decentralized platform. So they feel confidential at first, and they pay as always at second. It's my own pain. And I'm really happy that I have already so reduced it. Uh, after that, in the next uh, steps, I can develop this project more and users can resale their ticket on this platform. For this, I need some crypto methods that Algorand is going to implement in their system, I hope. But it will be announced later. So, um, after not only users have adventures of this system, for example, events pay less commissions. I have, as I have already explained, even send payment transactions in Algorand, but it's always less than 10%, and I can say it sh for sure. Uh, and they pay less, and uh, there are no uh, hosting, etc., etc., so the costs are less. And finally, Algorand tickets gets revenue, and we are all get rich. Thank you very much. Okay, now I would like to share a code with you, please. Uh, the application is written on Python. Maybe you can... I have two... So, there are many files, but just two of them are the main. First of all, there is index.py. It's a Flask-based web interface. Uh, it's not really interesting. It's not a blockchain development, but it's like an interface. Uh, and all of blockchain logic is written here in Algo Data Handler. Uh, for example, if I would like to create an event, as I have already shown, I just put a name. Uh, the event is created in uh, blockchain. It means that there is an address. Uh, we build K and address uh, and written it to database. So when I buy a ticket, uh, when I buy a ticket, it means that we need to store a purchase in blockchain. Is this such of script? So what happens here? Uh, we send a payment transaction where the sender is an event account and the receiver is a DApp account. So my account... Uh, uh, and we also attach some fee. It's like a fee that I use Algorand. And uh, payment for 
our algorithm. So we can choose this value and this will be how much events pay for using our system. That's how it works. Uh, we're Algorand. Um, I mean, first of all, I wanted to thank everyone. Uh, this is our first event as a team uh, at a crypto conference. Um, I started out on Ethereum. Uh, I went into Bitcoin. Um, and my favorite thing to do is kind of understand the cultural dynamics between uh, different blockchain networks. And um, I was a bit worried because I didn't know how contentious people would be here because uh, we're a separate blockchain platform. We don't, we don't work on Ethereum. Uh, obviously, we want to be as interoperable as possible, which is what I said when we started. But everyone's been so friendly. Um, and so our, our winner, so we decided to consolidate some prizes. Uh, but our winner is called Algotix. So it's a decentralized ticketing platform. Um, Vladimir from Wave uh, is actually the one that built it. Um, <laughs> so he did an amazing job. Um, we basically wanted people to take a look at our SDKs. We've got SDKs in JavaScript, Python, uh, Java, and Go. So Vladimir used our Python SDK. Um, he can explain a bit more about his app, and then I'll give him the press. First of all, if I have a microphone, I would like to say thank you, hackers. You all are so cool. You are so kind. I really like that you all are so open-minded. So, and not only use Ethereum. Uh, Web three zero. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so the prize is. Uh, so he's getting this backpack again, which I, I love. Uh, but in addition to that, you've got. Uh, Mesh Networks for GoTennis, for one. Uh, you've got a code drone, a hacking drone, uh, two great dev tools. So you're pretty much unstoppable with both, both these things. You can do almost anything. And then uh, we have a Raspberry Pi as well. And uh, well, this is a power bank. But so yeah, these prizes and, and the backpack together. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Photo, photo, photo.